Football Shirt Friday is back this Friday. What is that? Workplaces and schools encouraged to wear their favourite football shirts and donate to tackle bowel cancer. And this, of course, uh, brings the name Bobby Moore very much to the fore once again. Bobby Moore was 51 when he died. And shortly after his death in 1993, Bobby's widow, Stephanie Moore, set up uh, the Bobby Moore Fund as a restricted fund of Cancer Research UK to raise money for bowel cancer research. So, again, the message is clear. The 2023 campaign will encourage as many people as possible to wear their favourite football shirt and then share a photo on social media to spread the word and donate to tackle bowel cancer. And one man who's very happy, very content to throw his name into this is a, a name, of course, synonymous with the 1966 World Cup final. I think of Bobby Moore, I think of people like Bobby Charlton, and I think of this man. So, Jeff Hurst, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. I I agree with you, Danny, about VAR as well, by the way. (laughs) Good. I'm pleased to hear it, Jeff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Jeff, are you not having VAR, no? Sorry? You're not having it. You're in the Danny Murphy camp, No, no. I I, I agree with the goal line technology. It's quick, it's, it's important. The rest of it is, and I, I do a few shows and I, I ask the audience what they think and a high percentage of, of uh, the general public who watch football do not like it at all. And they're making as many mistakes uh, having spent 10 minutes on the screen off, off the pitch as they are when, when the linesman does it in, in an instant. So absolutely categorically not. So Jeff, let's talk about uh, Football Shirt Friday. Um, now, of course, I mentioned Bobby Moore's name. And, of course, what we are talking about is donating and tackling bowel cancer. How invested are you in an initiative like this, uh, Sir Jeff, when uh, the initiative itself carries the name Bobby Moore? Well, it's quite simple. Um, he's a be- I played with him at West Ham for 10 years plus. He, I always say he's the best player I play with. I actually went to visit him um, when he had the operation about bowel cancer and that was not long before he passed. Um, and they wouldn't let, even let me in to see him. So those kind of memories tend to stick with you. I, I wouldn't even allow to see him because he was in such a poor state after the operation uh, a week or so before he died. And I remember where I, exactly where I was um, when I heard the news. I was driving up the M1 um, to Liverpool or somewhere when it came over the news he passed away in, in 93. So things like this almost automatically su- <coughs> suggest that I, I would be, get involved with it. And Stephanie's a, a, an absolutely fantastic job over the years, long, long term. So when she asked me if I could just uh, appear and uh, occasionally help out, I'm absolutely uh, pleased to do so. So, so Jeff, when excuse it comes... Oh, excuse me if my voice... I say, excuse me if my voice is a little heavy. I haven't been drinking. I've got a heavy cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming over that way. Well done. Cancer Research UK, all about raising money for bowel cancer <laughs> research. The thing of it is this, uh, Jeff, when you throw your name on it, when when Bobby Moore's name is attached to it, people people respond. People, you'll be aware of that. You you guys are still held in such high esteem. Uh, And we've lost so many of the 1966 World Cup winners now, as you know. We're so glad that you're here to speak about it and to promote it in such a positive way. Because, Jeff, it's so damned important, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely vital. Um, Bobby's a great case. He was misdiagnosed initially. That was that was the issue that started that road um, to him passing. And so, you know, it's an automatic. I think people like ourselves that are known to the general public, and particularly in football, and particularly with Moro, if we can add our, add our weight to encouraging people to wear their shirts on the 21st of April um, and obviously raise some money, you can do it anywhere you want, do it work, home, office, um, and you can help dramatically in raising continued vital funds for the continued research in this, this absolutely awful, um, awful disease. Jeff, it's a good point you make because since Bobby's death, more than 29 million has been raised and seen mortality rates for bowel cancer fall by more than 30%. So the money's coming in and uh, the, the mortality rate is falling. But, you know, it can't just, we can't just rest on that, can we? Absolutely not, because it's the stat today is, although it's improved dramatically, as you're saying, 46 people die every day from mm. bowel cancer. So it, it hasn't gone away. A major, major step forward, as you said, 
but it's still there and we still need support. We still need people to wear the shirts. It doesn't matter what club you're from, wear the, wear the shirt of your local, um, I don't know, gymnasium. It doesn't matter. Wear it, make it, a, donate some money and, uh, and help the cause. Jeff, do you ever stop to think, I mean, you're not, you're not one to pat yourself on the back, but when your oh, name... No, I, thought I, I thought I was pretty good. <laughs> when your name is attached to something like this, it sure does help. Because the interest, the interest in the in the, in the entire issue, is raised enormously. Because you guys, as I said earlier, are still held in such high esteem. Well, for those who've got long memories, of course, absolutely. But I, the, the, this the, that's the important thing. I think if you, you you are, I understand we do help by putting our name to something and supporting an issue such as this, and for, and for obvious reasons, the people will obviously understand 100% why I'm supporting this this cause mm -hmm. because of my, of my relationship with Moro, my relationship with Stephanie. And uh, I, as I said earlier, he was the best player I ever played with. I had 10, 12 glorious years playing with the best defender and the best player I've ever seen at, at club and West Ham level uh, and England level, sorry. Of course. Danny, as a former England international yourself, I, I want to put you in the spot here. How do you look at people like the late Bobby Moore? How do you look at somebody like the man who's talking to us now, Sir Jeff Hurst, and what they contributed to the game? Well, I mean, loving football like I did, and or, or still do even, you know, they're, they're the ultimate because they're the, the group of players that won the trophy nobody else has ever won from our country. So, yeah, of course, there's great respect. I've been fortunate to meet Jeff many times, and I'd like to thank you, actually, Jeff. I never did for how welcoming and warm you were to my son when I brought him along. I think we were at Wembley when you met him and he still talks about it now. So actually, <clears throat> this the um, the humility around the only the old people remembering, you've got you've got many fans who are younger because of the way you are when you meet them and he, he was he's still got the picture. So thank you for that. Yeah. Um, thank you. And it, and it shows your standing <laughs> it, 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 it is, is still colossal in the game, Jeff. The message is clear. Wear, share, donate. Wear your favourite football shirt. Share on social media. Donate to tackle bowel cancer. For more information, head to talksport.com slash football shirt. The big Friday. question here, the yeah. big question here is, yeah. because you do keep your cards close to your, your chest, Jim, what shirt are you coming in on Friday? I might I might surprise you all by yeah. by wearing a shirt that I, I I've got a number of shirts at home uh, that I've managed to gather uh, over many years. Uh, Jeff, uh, I might Luis Suarez signed a Uruguay number nine shirt for me once. I might pop that on. Um, I've got a whole number of shirts. You won't be surprised by my accent to you that I don't have many England shirts in my collection. <laughs> Jeff, what shirt? Where, where is your shirt? Where is the number ten shirt from nineteen sixty six? So why didn't you wear an England shirt for fun on the day? Uh, my Ooh. England shirt went to, for, for auction many, many, many moons ago. It went for about 97, 98,000. I'm going back a long time, 15 or 16 years. I asked, I asked my, my kids once what they wanted me, me to leave them. I, I was including the memorabilia in all this. My eldest daughter finally said, she said, Dad, she said, that sitting, uh, that uh, settee in the living room, I think that's terrific. They weren't remotely <laughs> interested in the World Cup medal. And you can't split a World Cup medal between three daughters. So that, that, that set me on the road to um, uh, selling all my memorabilia and giving the money to the kids when they need it. And that was about, I'm guess, guessing, 15 years ago. Oh, brilliant. That'd probably go 10 times more now, wouldn't it? The way things are it probably, well, I shouldn't right, have sold yeah. a damn thing. You're right. I shouldn't have sold a damn thing. No. In, in, in your career, Jeff, in, in like 1970 or whatever, were you one to swap shirts? Um, I mean, the iconic picture of Bobby swapping with Pelé, Pelé yeah. is an amazing picture yeah. and an amazing moment in football. Did, did you do something similar? No. <laughs> because why are you like Stuart, well, the Stuart Pierce busy. school of thought that the England shirt is so important to him he wasn't taking it off his back no way and many years later of course I get nearly 100 grand for it so but I, I, seriously <laughs> I wasn't uh, one for swapping shirts but that is that is a fantastic one of my favourite pictures of Moro swapping shirts with Pele after, in 70 and I've got a lovely picture in my second bedroom of me Pele and Moro talking outside a hotel in Park Lane um, one of my classic uh, photographs. Pele's in the middle, and Moro and I are either side chatting away. And that's it. that photograph is in my second bedroom. So you can understand why I'm doing these things. I love that, Jeff. Listen, thank you so much for joining us. Are you optimistic about a strong end to the season for your beloved West Ham? 
Yes, I think that the other day was pretty good. Two nought down after five minutes. Yeah. And getting back uh, the the illustration in the the attitude they were showing uh, was fantastic. So do do expect partly because we we I think we we've, we've turned the corner to an extent. You know, it's it's very tight. Let's be fair. And there are a couple of clubs below us who are really struggling. So you you won't get involved with them. But that was in, that was encouraging. I think the issue if we talked about West Ham briefly. We lack a bit of a cohesiveness and, and creating chances. We're not scoring many goals. Even the goals we scored recently, two free kicks, um, a penalty. We're still lacking a bit of cohesiveness. But the attitude, and that's the important thing about a team, the attitude they showed after going down two, two, two after five minutes was a remarkable effort. And I think they're playing for the manager. So I do expect, as, as all West Ham's expect us to get, to get out of trouble. But it's in a very disappointing season, after, particularly after last season's mm-hmm. very good year. Uh, one we wouldn't be expected, but that that's football. Everybody has the ups and downs, but um, yes, I, naturally, I do expect us to get out of trouble. So, Jeff, terrific! Thanks so much. I can see you. Uh, we have the image coming in on YouTube and Facebook. We we've got you on the screen. It's great to see you looking so well. Thank you so much for joining us. Cheers, Danny. Take Thanks care. Thanks, Jeff. Bye. All the very best to Sir Jeff. First football shirt Friday is back this Friday. With workplaces and schools encouraged to wear their favourite football shirt and donate to tackle bowel cancer. We'll be doing it. Hope you're doing it as well. Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport